Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on the book Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. I think that's how you say her last name. I read her other book, I read Lead on the Offbeat. It was actually a really good book, and I literally love this one because it's just, well, actually, Lee on the Offbeat was an extension of this book, but I read Lee on the Offbeat first because I thought it was a standalone. It kind of is, I guess you could say. I guess they could be both standalones, but you just, like, know what the, who the person's going to be. But basically, it's basically Simon, and she's, he's basically messaging this person, and he doesn't know who it is. But basically, it's just, like, so, pre oh, what the heck? Sorry. I know you guys are probably hearing, like, background noises. It's because my nephew is listening to TV. And then this room, there's TV going on. And my sister's typing behind me. So, there's that. But, basically, it's just, like, I feel like this book is just so... Oh, God. <laughs> uh, so, uh, basically, I feel like this book is just so pure. I didn't know what I was getting into in this book. Like, I didn't even know it was going to be homosexual thingies. But... Guess what? It happened. So, I actually thought it was going to be, what's it called? Just a heterosexual book. So, uh, people were just recommending this book a lot, so I got it. And I was just like, okay, let's see. And it actually turned out to be very good. He was texting this boy. He didn't know who he was. And they were both gay, but they weren't out. And basically, somebody takes screenshots of him texting him. So, then he's like, oh, you have to hook me up with this girl. And if you don't do it, then um, I'm going to show this whole thing on Tumblr, I think it's called. But, yeah, so, he helped him, but he didn't help him enough, so his, it got on Tumblr. He got teased a little bit in the beginning, until the teacher, like, cussed out the kids, and she was, like, cussing them out, and he was like, I'll make sure those, like, she was, like, cussing, so I'm not even gonna say it. <laughs> but, basically, what happens then is that he meets up with the person, the online person. They went to the same school, so they knew... Like, they went to the same school, they had, like, the same teachers, they were in the same grade, but they didn't know who he was. But, like, he knew who he was on the inside. They are basically learning each other from the inside out. So, basically... That's like that Love, Simon movie. Have you, you've never seen that? Simon vs. the Hope Experience. No, Love, Simon. Love, Simon? Yes. Well, it's probably from this exact book, because... <laughs> Because Leon the Offbeat has a sticker and it says Love, Simon. And it's the extension of this book. But, yeah, this book is just so cute. I, I feel like it's, like, I don't really read, like, I usually read heterosexual books. Like, I don't have a problem with homosexual books, but it's just that, you know, I usually just read heterosexual books. But this was so adorable, honestly. I feel like it was so cute. And at the end when they, like, come together and they're actually, like, boyfriend and boyfriend. I was about to say boyfriend and girlfriend. Boyfriend and boyfriend. It's so cute. But it's so cute. And then Bram, which is his boyfriend now, he's like, he's scared to come out because he doesn't really want people to know. And he just told his mom and he doesn't want to tell her, his dad. But basically, um, Simon is forced to tell his parents because it's already on social media. And he has those cool parents who check like the, what's it called? I'm turning that down, bro. Girl, his name is Simon? Yeah. I think that's the book for love. I Simon. told you. Oh. Yeah, but basically, this this book is so good. I'll let her read it next because she sounds like she's about to be a fangirl of this book. I swear, this book will, like, capture you and you'll be, like, reading it. Like, you don't want to stop. But it's, like, so cute and just, like, oh, my gosh, it's just great. Um, You guys really just ha have to go get this. I got this from my local library, and it's really just a good book. It's just so sweet and pure. It's, like... Oh, I don't even know. I'm just fangirling now. Because I usually I have to make them right after I'm done reading it. Before I start another book, I have to make it because I don't want to, like, forget it. I want it to be, like, like, because I, I literally just finished it, like, ten minutes ago. So, yeah, I finished this in, like, six hours. It's, like, what time is it right now? I don't even know. It's it's ten. It's ten oh seven at night. <laughs> I got this book at one, but I also had to do homework and stuff, so... I don't know. I was doing homework for, like, an hour and thirty minutes, and then I had tutoring, and then I had jazz band. So... There's that. Very active. <laughs> That's the end of this video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you like this video. If you'd like to see another one like that. Until next time, guys. Bye.